Hi, welcome to part three of, of Blogger. Um, I'm Steve. We're, we're looking now at where we can actually make page links not only to our pages but to links of websites that are outside of our own blog. We're, we're looking at the uh, the layout which we were last on just before we finished the last video and you'll notice where we were working on pages and we removed the home button. Down the right hand side at the moment on your blog you have no links whatsoever but you do already have certain things available on there you'll be able to unclick the mighty murray musical if you wish but if you do wish you can put a photo in there later and change that title that's just a photo and a um a a, a picture window basically that's set up above it is a really important one it's the useful links now you can choose to put these links through your pages at the top if you wish but it is better to keep your your outside links separate so downside you already have this preset. If you click on edit, now you will notice that a box opens up for you uh, in its own little window. It's already got the title of useful links. You can change that if you wish. That's the title that I've used and set on your template. Now I'm going to go to a very simple one. It's a class dojo, which is um, a known one. You need used in most classrooms, should I say. It, is a really easy one to to do but I'm going to show you the, way, the best way to do it and you need to do it because you need to make sure is if I actually move that down just a tad we'll go to our um, tab here and within there we'll type in class dojo there it is exactly now, the only reason I'm saying doing that is just it does make sh give you the absolute surety that you are typing in the right address. Now, if I then go to, sorry, I copied and pasted then, copied, and I've gone back to my window, which was up the top. It's on a separate window that that little one opens up. And paste. And there it is right there. Now, I'm going to add a link as well, and you'll notice it's now put that down the bottom. I'm going to add another one, and I'm going to put um, Ard Tornish website. And I need to make sure that I, I do know what that one is, but. There it is coming up a second. Go to it. I could highlight that one just before. I'm actually going to just quickly highlight, copy, and then head back to my little window over the top and paste. And there it is. And now I've added that second. I can actually, I do believe I can move that up or down, as you can see. I'm also going to put in, recommend that you put in a direct link to newsletter. Now this is a really easy one to get to. You may want to put PS in there if you wish, it's up to you. Um, I'm going to click back to there. I'm going to go along to newsletters and there's the home page of newsletters. Simply highlight that, copy, come back to, oops, sorry, to my blogger page, paste, and add link. I think that's enough for the example. You can continue on, obviously, Mathletics, Study Ladder, uh, Reading Eggs, all the sorts of things that you may be using in your classroom, and then press Save. It's saving, as you can see. Now, it's really important that you save arrangement here as you're leaving persuasive writing as well, and that will just double check that everything's happening. Now let's have a quick look at our blog now and it should be starting to take shape. You can see over here they're starting to appear. The colours are an issue at the moment. I'm not sure why they're that dark. They, they shouldn't be. I can actually go in and adjust that but what we'll do is in the next video we'll have a look at how we can change a few of the little template issues. Thank you.